guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Kevin Duke. Kevin sent me this story and it's coming from Mississippi. So what's going down is that if you guys have not heard, over the weekend, two police officers were shot and killed during a um, routine traffic stop. One was 34-year-old Benjamin Dean and the other one was 25-year-old LaCory Tate. Basically, they were killed and once this was announced on social media, um, this woman named Sierra McGurdy decided to take the Facebook in her subway uniform, basically announcing glee that two police officers were dead. She was really, really happy about this. Once her post went viral, um, people started threatening her. People started going off on her. Um, the story also went viral and Subway decided to fire her ass because of these comments that she posted on Facebook. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news story. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. New this midday, a vigil will be held this afternoon for the two Hattiesburg, Mississippi police officers. They were gunned down Saturday night. The heartbroken mother of one of those officers is now speaking out. If I could say or, or face the people who did this to my son, I would let them know you took something very valuable away from me. But in that I will still forgive you because you took my baby. I will still forgive you. The officers were gunned down as they approached a car. A Mississippi sandwich shop worker has been fired now for apparently celebrating their deaths online. Sierra McCurdy posted, two police officers was shot in Hattiesburg tonight. Got him. A Jackson newspaper reports the woman used emoji showing a gun and laughing faces. In one of the posts, the woman was wearing a Subway sandwich shop uniform. Subway fired her. Subway says, quote, this kind of behavior is unacceptable and does not represent the values and ethics of our brand. All right, so you guys just checked out the news story. And I think the most disturbing thing of this story is how many people, especially black folks, were basically faulting Subway for firing this woman. You know, this whole situation to me is crazy. First of all, we live in a day and age of social media. And whatever you post online, you better know if it's something that other people don't agree with, it can go viral and it can definitely affect you. Most jobs and most companies watch social media. And if you're doing something on social media that's going to cause harm to a company's reputation, they have every right to fire you. Most most states are at will states and you can get fired for anything nowadays. And I thank her basically celebrating in glee that two police officers were killed, including a black police officer, I might add. I think to me was stupid of her and I don't feel bad for her. And what's so funny is that once this woman was receiving all types of death threats, once folks were going off on her, threatening to come see her, who did she call? She called the police. How ironic when your ass was just sitting here celebrating in glee that two police officers were killed, but once your ass needs help, you had no problem picking up your phone and calling 911 for help. You know, folks, come in with that shit. You can't have it both ways. You can't be on some fuck the police type shit, but when you get into a situation, when you get into trouble, the first folks you want to call is the police. should be ashamed of herself and people making excuses for her saying that you know Subway had no right to fire her and she had the right to say what she wants to say and it's freedom of speech yes you do have the freedom to say what the hell you want to say it is America but just realize that with that freedom of speech comes great responsibility and if others find themselves offended if others find themselves upset if a company finds themselves you know under fire based on your freedom of speech you will suffer consequences and that's all there is to it. There's been plenty of racist white folks who've been fired from their jobs for saying stupid stuff on social media so why should this bra be any different because she's black? I just think the whole situation is ridiculous. She has a right to feel how she wants to feel about the police but, but then she needs to realize when you post certain things onto a public forum like social media this shit can come back to bite you in the ass. Right now in my personal opinion she really messed up for herself because not only does Subway fire her I doubt any other company would be willing to hire her because of what she said on social Social media to put other companies at risk because people might go up to those jobs still trying to see her still trying to threaten her and everything else 
and nobody wants that headache so she basically messed up her own employment looking for social media attention and validation and that's what happens when you try to be an attention whore sometimes you can get a pat on the back from social media and other times you can feel social media's backlash okay so anyways y'all go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Sierra McGurdy how do you feel about her being fired how do you feel about her comments and then how do you feel about these folks on social media trying to make excuses for her and saying that she has a right to say whatever she wants to say and that Subway shouldn't have fired her do you feel like Subway had the right to fire her or do you feel like Subway took it too far let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey YouTube it's your girl lovely T and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button watching my previous videos and following me on social media